In today's video, we're going to be upgrading PlayStation 5 storage with this WD Black internal SSD. It also comes with heatsink, has one terabyte of storage. So most of these terabyte, you know, SSDs come with heatsink already there. It's very, very expensive. So this was $339 to get. What I got originally was this gaming hard drive. So this is the WD Black P10. Now the problem with this was that it wouldn't store games to be played off of. And plus you have to always keep it connected. And there was a few issues there with just having internal storage always with the PlayStation 5. It wasn't just easy where it was just like you can load games off of it and stuff like that. It was good, but this is gonna be great because it's actually gonna hold the games and actually you can play the games off of it and you can hold all the storage. So let's take a look at these. And this is the actual WD drive. Interesting. So that's how it looks. It's got quite a good amount of weight on there and that's how you connect it in through here on this point. And then that connects to the PlayStation 5. So now, to open up the PlayStation 5, I'm pretty sure it's the front with the disk drive. So let's have a look. This can work for both the digital and the disk version of the PlayStation 5 as well. Just so you guys know. So it is this side, it's on the disk side. And basically you just literally just unscrew that part of it. What is cool though, is these screwdrivers have the PlayStation icons on there, it has the X square circle and triangle. Okay, so I've looked around the house and I've finally found a screw that works. So you need something pretty small. I can't tell you the exact size to be honest with you, but it's a pretty small, it's not like an average size for a screwdriver. Anyway, you just take that off. So that's an up close of what it actually looks like. So as you can see, there's nothing there internally. So basically it's ready there to put one of these SSDs straight in there. So basically there's a little slot there, right there. And you can basically just slide this in. And that just clicks in and it sort of flaps out a little bit, but that's normal. So basically after that, it's now connected. We can now put the lid back on and now we're pretty much ready to go. That's it, that's all you have to do. There we go, boom. And we're back to normal. So now let's connect it up and actually upgrade the storage. Let's go. All right, so here we can see that it says to use your M2 SSD, you need to format it. When you format your M2 SSD, all your data will be deleted. That's fine because we have no data already on there. And one thing to note that it says, note that saved data, screenshots, and video clips cannot be saved on the M2 SSD. So basically that just means that your in-game data will be saved on the PlayStation 5, not actually on the SSD. The only other thing is screenshots and video clips can't be saved on the M2 SSD. That's totally fine. Basically with the saved data, that's fine because saved data isn't that much in terms of storage. So anyway, let's just continue and format the M2 SSD. Shouldn't take too long. Let's find out how long it takes. It's very, very quick. So it said the read speed of your M2, M2 SSD is as follows. If you experience any problems while playing a game installed on the M2, uh, try reinstalling it on the console storage. And it says that the read speed is 65,044 megabytes per second. Must be good. All right, so it's now been formatted. So to change where your games are installed, go to settings, storage, installation, location, to safely remove your M2 SSD, turn off your PlayStation 5 first. So you can unplug it. You just need to turn it off first and everything, but you can unplug it once it's installed. Let's say we want to transfer some data over. Let's go to settings. Let's go to storage. And now we can go straight to the M2 SSD storage. It's already there for us. And you can reformat it, all that sort of stuff. And we can go to our console storage. Let's say we want to go here, transfer some data over. Let's say we want to maybe do... Let's go Astro's Playroom. Select items to move. 
let's move that. And then we can move it to the M2 because it's already connected and it's already there. That's what's amazing about the PlayStation 5 is everything's easy for us and it takes really not that long. That was 11 gigabytes and that's how long it took. That is amazing, wow. So now we can have a look, we've got one terabyte and we can transfer all the games across. And let's have a look. And we see it seems to run fine, absolutely fine. You can actually play it straight off the M2 SSD pretty easily. So that's really, really good. I found with the Western Digital thing, you have to reinstall it back on the PlayStation 5. If that makes sense. So if you move something across, you can't re-play it until you move it back, which is really whack. So yeah, this works perfectly, it's fine. Has all the same data already there. And we can continue where we were last were, I guess, in the, in the game and continue. I love this game, man. It's always just like a pleasure to play. Ah, oh, you can't not get used to that. It's just absolutely incredible. I love this game, man. Woo! There's no lagging or anything. It just runs as normal. Looks as beautiful as always. There's no lag. Absolutely incredible. I feel like I'm really on an island. Anyway, so I want to go back and just like test out how long it will take for like everything to move over how many gigabytes we got so right here i've got about 512 gigabytes so if i want to go i wonder can you select apps so you can only move certain things so i can i can't move disney plus but i can move netflix let's go all the games so let's move that across see how long it takes so it says it's going to take wow it went from 83 minutes to like seven seconds, seven minutes. So it's moving 500 gigabytes in a matter of seven minutes. That's actually pretty insane. So I'm gonna just let that do its thing. I'm gonna let that move over and it just works as normal. It's absolutely incredible. Is it worth it? I think so, like it's really good. The fact that I can just move the game super fast it's moving 500 gigabytes in like seven minutes. The fact that it's really easy to install is also really good. Man, it's saying 20 seconds, 27 seconds left. Are you joking? I'm impressed actually. But it's not really moving, what's going on? I don't know. Anyway, have yourselves a beautiful day guys. Like and subscribe if you wanna see more content like this and I'll see you guys next time.